DBB family, how you guys doing? Um, today is February 2nd, and we're back with some more training videos. Um, I'm kind of behind schedule on my videos. I had to come down to uh, Georgia um, and get some work done. But um, I'm trying to go ahead and knock out the rest of this stuff so we can get this channel moving in the, you know, the right direction. But um, today's video is going to be about uh, recognition of candlestick patterns. Um, candlestick patterns and Forex are very crucial um, to know, you know, because um, you need to figure out, you know, when the market is at a certain area, how is, you know, price or the momentum of the market playing when it's actually in that area, right? That is a big key element. You don't want to be <clears throat> in situations and not seeing momentum actually play its part with price, if that makes sense. And, and pretty much what I'm saying is like, if you see a double top, for an example, right? Um, sometimes the candles need that momentum shift, right? They need you need to be able to see it inside those candles. So you know, it's certain candlestick patterns that form that can give you confirmation on what's actually happening when you do find you know your 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 uh, setups. So that is very very important to know. Um, now it is a couple of um, different candlestick patterns that you can use and i'm going to show you guys a list that i have here of uh, the candlestick patterns um that are usable now here's the chart right here um if you're looking at this chart right now you'll see a number of candlestick patterns ones on the left are for bearish uh trend or bearish setups so anytime you're looking for a sell you want to look for those type of patterns and then everything to the right um, those are all bullish setup patterns. So anytime, you know, you're looking for a buying opportunity in the market, you know, to go long or whatever, you're going to be looking for those type of uh, candlestick patterns. Now, I do not use all of these candlestick patterns because they don't always form all the time. Or um, another reason is the market can throw you off with certain candlestick patterns because, um, indecision sometimes happens in the market right um and when i mean indecision i mean that you know neither the bears or the bulls are catching the momentum to move the market in their favor so sometimes the candlesticks may form indecision and like i said you don't you still don't know so it's only so many that i use uh really honestly is getting to the point now where i only look for two um which is a bullish engulfing or bearish engulfing those are typically the only ones I use now, um, but it's still a few that I keep into consideration. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go over the few that I, I like to use or I will recommend using. Um, you can actually find this chart on Google as well. But the the setups, or excuse me, the candlestick patterns that I like to use are, we're going to start here on the left side. So if you see my mouse, um, honestly, right here, these, um, yeah, this this situation right here, actually these two. So this is your bearish engulfing setup, right? It is a, um, so if you're looking at a double top situation, right, let's, let's just use that for an example. And price has made his first top and it went down, you know, to hit that level of support. Then it went back up to retest that previous high. You will see something like this form where you have a green candle. And as soon as this bullish candle closes, the candle that follows it immediately is a big red uh, or whatever color you have your your bearish candles. It's going to be a candle that engulfs that bullish candle, pretty much just taking over that candle. That's why they call it a bearish engulfing. Um, and the reason this is this is honestly the number one um, candlestick pattern that I like to use of uh, this, the bearish engulfing and like I said, bullish engulfing, because it it identifies that momentum shift. Right. This is a lot of closed volume. Uh, when that candle happens so depending what time frame you're actually seeing this on as well like if you're on a four hour time frame and you see a double top with a bearish engulfing you know and it's a strong candle close right with like no wick at the end like how on this example like let's just say this whole entire you know situation was a one big red candle that identifies a lot of selling vo sellers volume in the market and that momentum shift can happen 
So this is that's the reason why I like to use the engulfing patterns a lot. Um, right beside it to the uh, right is your um, doji star or evening doji star. The reason they call it that because um, same scenario. Let's say you're looking at a double top. When price is going up, you're going to get you know a series or a few green candles or bullish candles, and it's going to follow a star pattern then a red candle. Now, that star pattern candle is that indecision that I was talking about earlier. So sometimes I don't like to um, use, like I said, that for a confirmation because this is still showing indecision. Now, during my time period of trading, I've also learned that if your bearish candle that follows your star pattern on the evening star, if it's 60 percent or more of that green candle that that was before the star pattern, um, then I would take it into consideration. So, you know, like um, this picture right here, this is probably like right at 60 percent of this green candle. So if you was to measure these, this red candle, like I said, it's probably about 60 percent of this bullish candle. But in my in my own eyes what i would like to see is this like i said this red candle probably push out a little further like be a little bigger and when we get to the charts i'll show you guys some examples and another example for bearish candlestick patterns i like to look for are tweezer tops um i don't use these a lot either um but in in a sense to me when you see wicks come off of candles um, that shows, you know, exhaustion at a certain area, meaning price hasn't pushed further, especially when we're talking about bearish setups or bearish candles. Um, but these are kind of like um, bearish engulfings in a sense to me. So that's why I like to use them. And then when it comes to the bullish setups, it's all the same things, but just inverse or flipped around. So you have a uh, right here starting out, you have a bullish engulfing pattern. So it's the same thing if you're looking at a double bottom or something. Price is going to be coming down, followed by, you know, whatever series of candles. But it's going to be a big green candle that's going to engulf or a bullish candle that's going to engulf the last bearish candle beforehand. Um, like I said, you get a lot of closed volume that usually shows that momentum push in the market. Um, then you have the morning star pattern, which is the opposite of the evening star. Evening stars are up high. Morning stars are down low. So if you're looking at a double bottom. You'll see something like this bearish uh, candle star pattern, then a bullish candle followed by that star pattern. Like I said before, I would like to see 60 percent or more of that bearish candle be, uh, you know, this or excuse me, the bullish candle. I would like it to be 60 percent or more of this bearish candle. So, either, you know, closing 60 percent of that candle or way more. So like engulfing it in a sense or, you know, big enough to show that buyers have that momentum shift if that makes sense and then you have your tweezer bottoms same thing as before with the tweezer tops they kind of represent to me in a sense um a um uh, excuse me bullish and uh golfing setup so those are the, those are the patterns i like to use like i said you can find this chart on google um i didn't have a tool to mark them out so i just wanted to go over them real quick but we're going to jump on the charts and i'm going to show you guys um the actual setups on how they look so we're on uk right now and like right here this is our first bullish engulfing setup zoom in a little more so you guys can see so um prior to this situation happening here we had a big push to the upside price made its um uh a higher high point uh push down to form a higher low and this is kind of like a double bottom in a sense. Now, I always rec would not recommend, excuse me, I always um, advise and let people know that none of the patterns that we identify are always going to be perfect looking. But um, in this scenario, price did push down, make a low, and it kind of shot back up and then came back down, made another low, and then went to the upside. So it kind of formed a double bottom. But here's the... Um, Here's the key right here, right? This blue candle next to this bearish candle. Because price, like I said, it pushed down and it kind of went up. You had a series of blue candles right here. Then you had this bearish candle. And then boom, big bullish candle. Close above this bearish candle, identifying that the momentum shift was, was going to happen. And then next thing you know, price shoots to the upside. Breaks the uh, previous um, higher high point and you know goes to form a new higher high and then come down to form a new higher low so 
that's an example of a bullish engulfing. And I have a few of these marked out, so we're going to just go over all of them. So you can kind of see why I like to look, use these a lot. So the thing, same thing here. Zoom back out a little bit. Um, you can see price was coming down, right? Kind of still forming a double bottom or a triple, however you want to look at it. Because um, this middle hit here, some people might consider this middle hit to be the third, I mean the second hit. So you could consider that one, you know, two, and then three, then take off. But um, right before it made its move, you can see right there, we have a bearish candle, big blue candle that engulfs this little bearish candle. Price closed, took off to the upside. All right, another great example of a bullish engulfing. Right here, we have a bearish engulfing. So, um, and I'm on a four hour time frame. So, as I always state, whenever you see some of these patterns, you can, you know, flop between your time frames. Um, and I'm going to show you right here in this example because you don't really see structure form. Um, you know, price just shoots up. Um, and you got a bearish candle right here, right beside this blue candle, but that is in a golfing pattern nonetheless. Um, sometimes, like I said, you can jump down to, you know, different time frames to just check on these candles and see how they're forming on like the one hour or uh me personally i would just do the one hour um if i'm looking at stuff on the four hour because once you go down to your 30 your 15 minute they're going to be broken up a lot more so like right here um you can't well I, i'll just say this let me zoom in on this one right here and let me mark it so this candle right there this this bearish candle right here this could be your bearish and gofin Right, so if we consider this a, let's just say a triple top, right? That's first hit here, second hit here, and your third retest there. You got a blue candle and then a bearish candle that formed right afterwards. It was engulfing this blue candle. So um, textbook entry would be as soon as that candle would have closed, you would have put an entry right there. Stops right above the highest point and literally just hold on to that trade. Let's go back out to the one four hour here. So this situation here, this is a uh, bullish engulfing. But as you can see, this was one big candle push uh, on the four hour. So like I said before, sometimes when you're looking at setups, you have to flop between time frames. So if we go back and look at this setup here on the one hour, um, you probably will get the engulfing pattern the way you want to see it. Give me a second, my uh, computer is, oh yeah, thought it was loading. So still on the one hour, we still have that big blue candle. So we're gonna go down to the 30 minute. Sometimes this is, this is what happens. Um, and depending on how you're marking up your setups anyway, um, if you're following the strategies that I use, um, you will probably, you know, go down to the 30 and the 15 minute to actually place an entry. So sometimes you want to look for these on lower time frames. It just gives out more confirmation on the uh, four hour or the hour. So here we go. Right. Get it right. So right here, double bottom setup, push to the low, right, came up, push back to the low to retest it. Big bullish and girlfriend right after a bearish candle. Entry would have been right there at the close of this bullish candle. Stops right there at the bottom. You would have took about maybe a pip worth of drawdown, but instant profit. Um, and in this scenario, this would have been well over what 30 plus pips, probably. So, yeah, so you would have took a pip worth of drawdown and then immediately would have went into about 65 worth of pips of profit immediately. So, as I said, that sometimes that momentum, uh, when it kicks in, it kicks in. Uh, up here, we got a bearish and gofin set up. Um, it's kind of like a double top bearish and gofin. Could have put your entry, like I said, right at the close of that candle. Stops above. Price dropped. Um, and this is where, like, a situation, your risk to reward kind of plays out. Um, now, the pips may give you way more than 30. You know, 
right at. So this is why I always say risk risk management plans having a risk to reward uh, ratio comes into an effect, you know, because 45 pips, it beats my one for one, which is 33. But, you know, for some people that are trading and not typically, um, I guess, following too many rules or have a, a good plan, um, you want to be cautious of stuff like that. And let's see, we have another bullish and go from here. I think that might be the, no, I got one more after that. So yeah, this is another bullish engulfing. Um, it showed on the four hour. So, you know, you could have took this blue candle here off the close and wrote it to the top or, you know, go down to the lower time frames. Let's go to the hour and let's get back to this area. Only thing I don't like about trading you is when you switch time frames, it takes you all the way back. So as you can see, right, price was uh, throwing a wicks out here to the downside, but not making, you know, no set um, close on candles and pushing it lower. Um, you had a bearish candle, then followed by a big blue uh, bullish candle, bullish engulfing. Could have closed, I mean, excuse me, put your entry off the close of that candle, stops at below. Would have took a little bit of uh, drawdown, not a lot. But he would have got immediate profit, as you can see. This thing just takes off. You're looking at about six pips worth of drawdown. First couple candles would have kicked you out about forty. I say about forty to fifty, um, about forty-nine to fifty pips. When this thing kept riding, you could have got over a hundred pips easy. And then let's go look at this last candle. Which was a bearish and go for I think it's right here. So this is more so an ideal double top push to the high. That's your first top here. Came back down, push back up to retest the old high. All right. And you right, you got your um blue candle, then literally a big bearish and gofin candle that shows on the four hour, and I'm pretty sure it shows on the lower time frames too. So you could literally put that entry right off the close of that candle, stops above, and you know we can clearly see what happened after that. Price just dropped. So um, recognition of candlestick patterns, like I said, is very important, especially when you're looking at certain setups, um, because it do it does give you more confirmation on what's happening. So um, definitely study those. Like I said, there are other patterns you can use, like the morning star, the evening star. Um, but I don't recommend to use them a lot because, um, you don't always typically get the shift that you want. Um, let me try to find an example real quick before I end this video. Sound like that example. Let's go down to the one hour. See if we can find something. Just want to see if I can find a morning star and an evening star. Then, like I said, we'll end this video here. So that's not a good example there. If I can't find one, we'll just cut the cut the video. But don't look like I'm just gonna find one too easy. And I don't want to shift between pairs to look for one because uh, they typically not just going to stand out. You got to be really looking to find one. And like I said, right now, I'm just not seeing it. OK, so. All right. So like this right here, this is a decent example. Not the best. Let me rectangle this one out right here. This is not the best example, but I like it because it is. It, it does show the. Uh the evening star right because if you consider this to be a double top like this to be you know a push to the high then another push to the high um when you get that second push to the high right you got a bullish candle a little star pattern and then a bearish candle but this is this would be the ideal candle setup i would want to see right where that bearish candle is super super bigger than what's happening and you know you can actually see the shift right after that you know what i mean so that's why I kind of like that example. And if you really pay attention, well, this not as clean, but 
this setup right here could be like a one to start. Normally you want to look for them at the bottom of something. So that's why I want to find one that's a little bit more, a little bit more clean. Like, but that can be an example. Like sometimes stuff like this will happen. You got a bearish candle and this is like 60%. So some people could have thought that, you know, price was going to continue going up, especially if we're on, we're on the uprise prior to that, which it kind of was, right? Because if you look at it here, price was here and it pushed up, came down, pushed up, came down, pushed up, came down. And you kind of got a little money star pattern that happened right there. So that can confuse a lot of traders. Here's another example right here. Of a, of a good one bearish candle star pattern big bull big blue big bullish candle that i like this uh morning star situation there better than like i said some of the ones i've seen before but um as always take notes um go look at those reversal candlestick patterns or those uh, candlestick patterns in themselves and go just to these charts apply them when i mean by apply them go find them and see how they play out uh, especially with pairs that you like to trade and you know just as like I always say just take notes study it and apply it uh, but that's it for the recognition of candlesticks um, like I said pretty easy stuff um, as always study 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 if you guys need any coaching and mentorship uh, my Instagram is in the description box below also my email um, other than that happy trading see you guys on the next video